We are Armenians of the first Christian nation in the world, and our religion has helped us preserve our culture in hard times. In 387 AD, Armenia's territory was divided between the Roman Empire and Persia, and as a result, our national identity was threatened. The only way to save and preserve our identity was to strengthen our Christian faith. However, in order to understand the essence of our religion and to grasp the true meaning of Christianity, we needed to have the sacred scriptures translated into the Armenian language. Mestre Mashtots, the great linguist and inventor of the Armenian alphabet, played a key role in the history of our writing. As a translator, he realized that without their old letters, the people of Armenia would not be able to comprehend the text of the Bible, and therefore he began to work on creating an Armenian alphabet. Surely, for such a complicated task, he needed support, which he found on behalf of Catholicos Isaac of Armenia. Along with the head of the Armenian church, they set about the search for a suitable alphabet for the translation of the liturgical books. On the initiative of Mesrop Mashtots, a special synod was called in Vahar Shabbat, which launched the process of creating the Armenian alphabet. The king of Armenia, Varam Shapu, Hearing of the church council supported the initiative by informing Mesrop Mashtots and Catholicos Isaac about the existence of ancient Armenian letters in Mesopotamia. In 404 AD, Vagri Chaduni, the king's envoy, delivered to Armenia the ancient Armenian scripts handed out to him by the Mesopotamian bishop Daniel. Mesrop Mashtots and Isaac of Armenia accepted these Daniel scriptures and persistently tried to restore them. King Varam Shapu ordered the introduction of a new alphabet for literacy teaching. Thus, the Armenian language was first declared an official language, and Mestre of Mashtots, having received the degree of Archimandrite, started teaching using the Daniel scriptures. But sometime later, Mestre of Mashtots came to the conclusion that this alphabet was incomplete and was not able to correctly reflect the phonetics of the Armenian language. By royal order, and with the approval of Catholicos, Mestre Mashtos, together with his best students, traveled to northern Mesopotamia, to the cities of Ahmed, Edessa, and Samosata. Thus, the first ever scientific linguistic expedition began. Mestre Mashtos traveled to one of the largest educational scientific centers of the time, Edessa. He divided his students into two groups. One group stayed with him in Edessa to study Syriac writing, and the other group he sent to Samosata to study Greek. By 405 AD, after thorough linguistic research, Mestre Mashtots invented 36 Armenian letters. He put letters in order according to the Greek alphabet. After that, he went to Samosata, where together with the Greek calligrapher and scribe Rufinus, he refined the Armenian letters. In Samosata, the creation of the Armenian alphabet was finally completed. Mashtots, his two students, and Rufinus used the new Armenian alphabet to translate small passages from the Bible, to know wisdom and instruction, to perceive the words of understanding. This passage from Solomon's proverb was the first sentence that Mestre Mashtots translated into Armenian. After his return to Armenia, Mestre Mashtots met with Catholicos Isaac. The head of the Armenian church gave him a group of Hmong scientists to fully determine the phonetic and orthographic standards of the Armenian language. This is how the Armenian alphabet was invented, one of the most perfect writing systems in the history of mankind. Mestre Mashtots is a teacher who gave us the opportunity to convey the Armenian language in writing, learn the true essence of Christianity, and carry history, culture, and identity through the centuries. This alphabet was created by a man of a genius with a striking sense of homeland. It was created once and for all, it is perfect. That person was like a god in the days of creation. He is a fact just like this alphabet, and his name is Mesrop Mashtots. Andrew Bitov <laughs>